Hello guys, welcome you all to the PC Tips Pro. Today in this video, I'm gonna to show you how you can create new spot or website with WordPress. So if you want to create your attractive websites, then without learning any programming languages like HTML, Java, you can go with this WordPress platform. If you want to start your news portal and wish to target large audience over the world, then it's the best platform for you to create your own websites. So before we move further, don't forget to subscribe to the channel PC Tips Pro. So before we move further to this topic, let me tell you that they require two basic requirements. The first requirement is the domain. That means you need to buy a domain and the second is you need to buy a hosting. So let's proceed further to this. First of all, you can open your browser and on the browser search for Domain Racer or you can directly go to the website which is DomainRacer.com. So guys here, I'm not going to buy the hosting because I already having it with Domain Racer and I really love their services. Because they have very great services, they also have instant support as you can see support chat is here so you can talk to them directly and you can directly contact the salesperson also if you are having any of the technical issues. So I am only going to buy the domain here. So here when you open Domain Racer website on the top you can see domain is here. So click on the domain and search for the domain. Also make sure while searching for domain try to search for the name which is relevant to your website. It means the keyword of your website should be in domain. So talking about news portal website, I'll search for my news and then click on to search option. And now you can see there are different suggestions coming up. The domains which are available here. The first one is mynewsusa.xyz and the second domain is my-news-usa.com and the third is mynewsusa.org So guys, if you are a developer and digital marketer, then I'll suggest you to go with .com domain because the .com domain will show your presence globally. It also helps to rank your website on top. And now once you select the .com domain, you can click into add to cart. Now you can go to the web hosting. But as I earlier said that I already having hosting with Domain Racer, so I am skipping this hosting part. Now we will move to the second part to set up your hosting. So again, you have to go to the Domain Racer website. So click into Domain Racer and then here you can see login option. So click into this login option. Now you have your credentials to login. This is the same credentials which you have created at the time of signing up the account with the domain racer. So use the same credentials to log in to the account. And once you log into your account, you will see the services and products you have got from them. So you can see your active products from here. And once you click on this shared hosting and domain, you will get the cPanel login credentials and the link also. So guys here, I'm directly going to the cPanel and then we'll enter my ID and the password. So click into login and now you can see the cPanel account. Now once you log into cPanel account, scroll down it completely down to bottom. And now in the software menu, you can see WordPress manager by domain racer. So click into this and now after you can see there is WordPress management and also you have three options install scan and manage sets. So you can click into install option and here we are going to install the WordPress in our cPanel hosting. So on the top you can see here it's asking for the version. So always choose the latest version that will be good for your interface of the WordPress dashboard. Now here it's coming for the site name. The site name would be your website name that means your domain name that will represent your website. So it was my news and after that it's coming for site description. You can give like for example I'm taking here is hey this is my news website. So we are done with this and now you can also see there's ID and password coming. So you can choose and change according to your needs. So I'm taking it as admin and admin. After that, it's asking to choose a language. So it's English. You can 
choose language according to your need and comfort now this is the last part coming up you have to select the theme so first of all you can click into show all themes here it will show you the list of all available themes so let's search for the theme available here so it was about news portal so i'll search for news but as you can see there's no match found for news so i'll click to all and here there are different suggestions coming up of themes now i'll choose from these themes only and now i think this could be better so i'll select this one and also you if you want to see demo you can click into this demo part so guys finally i'm going to select this theme only here and now i'm clicking into this install option so guys as you can see it's installing now it might take some time as you can see this may take up to 3 to 4 minutes you can read it from here it depends upon your internet speed how fast your internet is working let it be because this is the mandatory part you cannot skip this part so we will wait some few minutes more now after completing the second part you can move to the last part how you can customize your theme and how you can give the right and attractive look to your website so let's move to the third part guys now you are done with the installation part you will get this screen here as you can see congratulations the software was installed successfully after this you have given two different links the first link when you click into this link you will actually see how will your website look like so from here you can see that how your website is looking like coming back to second link as you can see administrative url from where you can go ahead to the customized website that means it will be your wordpress dashboard so click on this and it will redirect you to the wordpress dashboard and as you can see here so talking about the role of the dashboard so let me tell you this dashboard will let you make changes to your website so you can see either customize your website or you can change the theme completely you can also enhance your content with blocks and patterns you can do the changes from left side also as if you want to add post then you can click into post and then add new or categories next you can do is add media you can also add music or video or photos anything to your website now if you want to add pages then you can click into this also you can manage your comments from this only also when we click into appearance we can see there are different options coming up so we can also customize our website from here also if you want to add any plugin then you can click into this plugin option and then add new also if you want to make any other user to handle your website then you can click into user and add new user You can also see there are different tools which are available here. So guys here when you go to the website again you can see on the top my news and if you remember it was the name of the website i have given at that time and now you can see in the heading hey this is my news website and if you remember it was the description i given at the time of the installation. So these all are the demo photos you can see. and also you can change all of these you just need to go back to the dashboard and here you can see start customizing option so click into this so it will let you to do all the changes to your website uh let's suppose if you want to make changes in the header footer or template pages then you can click into this and then click into header so as you can see it's preparing interface to your website so now you can change any of the thing from here like you can change the title add new section add new row whatever you want you can change from here coming back and if you want to change any template then click into this as you can see it's preparing for the interface and now from here you can change this template or this template whatever you want to change in your website and also if you want to uh, change anything in your home page and click into this as you can see it's preparing interface and from here and from here by scrolling down you can change any of the image or any of the text in your home page so guys i hope it will help you to start your own news portal website through wordpress that that's it for today keep watching pc tips pro